All right. So already from, from what I'm looking at from your underlying energy being the six of swords is that there is a lot of shifting and changing that's going on in your lives. Every last one of you guys are changing everything uh, or like at least moving on from difficult times. The challenge now it's really weird. It's almost like it's a divorce that some of you guys are going through. Some of you guys are going through some seriously, you know, some seriously um, strong corrections. Like, you guys are really adjusting some stuff. So things ain't working for you. You're noticing that. And you're done with it. You're just not having it no more. You're not dealing with the stuff that's not balanced, that you don't deem as balanced anyway. Um, the just judge this card, I think there's some things, too, that doesn't have to necessarily mean divorce. It could just mean that there's some things that need to be straightened out, an apology. Someone needs to, you know, confront a problem and come at it with the truth, the honest truth, in a, in a healthy way to kind of not satiate the person but to completely resolve the problem okay because right now we don't have a situation where i think everybody's just separate because they are not getting their way or there's something going on where somebody feels like they were you know either taken advantage of some things were just not adjusted right something's going on with the justice card being in this as a challenge forgiveness balancing the scales correcting wrongs those situations are coming up okay um, and even that, you know what, it could even be that the, that the dynamic of the relationship is, isn't is imbalanced and you have to kind of, you guys are taking time out for yourselves to figure out what you guys need for yourselves, okay? Because sometimes the situation is that nobody is really the problem. It's just that we need our own sort of balance, our own individual, you know, our own self to kind of be on, on the same bag, bandwagon as the rest of us and for the relationship to be able to go in that direction of, you know, of being potentially happy, you know, because um, I think there's some things that, you know, there's a routine here that's shown that there's definitely routine, there's definitely commitment here. But the thing is, I think there was some things that don't work no more, and that's why there is a separation. You have to figure out for yourselves what you guys need in your relationship and what you don't. Because what's really interesting is that you guys both have some very similar stuff coming up in your readings. Each side has something very similar. The only side I would say doesn't have something similar is the, the fact that there's a suit and then there's, you know, a minor arcana. Now, the fact of the matter is, though, that this is both cups, these are both knights, and these are both fives. Very interesting. Double of everything. So, it's really interesting to see this. So, moving on. It doesn't necessarily have to mean that you're kind of, like, getting over a situation. It can mean that. It can also indicate, too, that the Six of Swords can also, you know, means that you're trying to, you know move towards better pastures, right? Trying to improve, trying to get a better experience. And that does sometimes require leaving the old behind, but it also talks about embracing the new from what you know, right? Getting, you know, using what you know from what you've gone through and taking and moving forward with that, right? Because right in front of him, there's no, there's no land, there's no nothing, but he's got the swords that he's carrying with him, right? All the knowledge, all that information, because what are the thoughts, what are swords, thoughts, belief systems, perspectives, all these things, right? Logic. There's, he's taking that with him to another place. That means he's going to be able to utilize what he's learned, what he has, to make the best out of a uh, best out of a situation. He's not, he's not taking any emotional baggage with him. He's taking the knowledge that he's learned and using it to find him a bit, you know, to either create something new to, and you know, to put his knowledge to work pretty much and i feel like for a lot of you guys you're trying to use what you've learned from your relationship to move forward in a better position in your life some of y'all you're trying to move away from your partner some of y'all are trying to get away from this situation that's not balanced and that's fair enough too but for those of you guys are not that are not looking to break up with anybody this is just clearly you guys just trying to figure out what you guys need individually before you guys can contribute to a relationship or how you can translate that to the relationship so that way you guys can get your basic needs done. Now starting off with this side here with the Queen of Swords, excuse me, Queen of Cups, you have this, you know, you have the Queen here. She is 
the representation of cancer. This doesn't have to be your side, though, cancer. This person could clearly be thinking that, especially considering that this, this placement where the card is does indicate the mind plane. I feel like with the Queen of Cups, this person sees this relationship as something that's emotionally taxing okay not in the bad way i think this is a lot of emotions put into it right there's a lot of love here there's a lot of emotions elsewhere elsewhere too the, the, the queen of cups in my opinion feels everything not just happiness but sadness as well she feels anger she feels everything but she doesn't show that right she doesn't express she doesn't express that she just feels it she knows what she feels she knows what she wants now the things with this relationship, I think this is, there is somebody that's very patient in regards to waiting for somebody to take action, because uh, the Queen of Cups is very similar to the High Priestess. She doesn't take action; she just kind of waits for things to come to her. Not that because she's lazy or anything like that, but because she knows that what the best things that you know the, the best things that you can experience is usually you know, well the you know intuition. You have to wait for that. You can't just you know re recommend it to come to you because you won't be looking for the message you're going after the message instead you get what i'm saying i think this you know the whole thing is about this person having the queen of cups in the mindset is that this person is now ready to receive okay this person knows that they are ready to receive or they have to receive it's really interesting though this is that this person is is a walking contradiction Unfortunately, this person is contradicting themselves. Not on purpose, I think it's force of habit. Because the, the way the Knight of Swords usually acts is very immature, it's very young. Think about a young person, right? They just do things in the moment because it's natural to them and, you know, as uh, personality-wise. The older we get, the more, you know, the way we can mature. Like the Knight of Cups here is the immature version of the Queen of Cups. Now, the saying this person is immature saying that this person is immature, but that the way that they're behaving is not a developed form. It's more of a raw energy, in my opinion. Knights are more raw energy, while the queen and kings are more matured, and they're more uh, seasoned veterans in regards to how they feel, how they express, what they do with those feelings. So the, in regards to this person, they know that they have, they, they know what they want, they know what they want to experience. This person they may be filled with a whole lot of emotion. They may, may be in a very an emotional place. Very sensitive here as well, um, which is why they're probably also very combative, but they're also, I think they are aware that they need to receive a little bit more than they what they're doing, but they are, but their actions are not showing that. Their actions are showing the Knight of Swords, which is showing that they're going after things. They're fighting for what they believe in. They're going after people. They're cutting people. They're saying stuff. They're very communicative. They're still very adamant about doing it themselves by going after the things that they want and not allowing things to come into their lives. They know they have to have that, but they are still in this placement where they're still going after you, or they're still going after people, or they're still going after the things that they want. Okay, some a lot of times it's not a bad thing, but I have a feeling that this person is kind of in two different areas. And I also think that the reason why this person is seems like they're in like they know they have to you know be passive here to receive, but they also understand that the more they push or they push for something, the farther it is away from them, and they just can't seem to get that balance right, which is why justice is coming up in the first place. The challenge is probably you know things needing to be a little more consistent for everybody here. Here, and each individual person because this person here knows they have to be a little bit more receiving they can't just go out and get stuff all the time but this person's actions are showing that they're just constantly doing it not on purpose it's just like a force of habit and it has to break you know that sort of habit needs to break and this is the whole reason why this is even coming up is because of the higher fan now that's what brought you two together you know what I mean? Like the patterns and behaviors that, you know, the, it's just how you guys have, you know, worked together or melded together as far as, far as people goes. Who you were to, basically from the very beginning is who you committed to. And, you know, it, it's, it's talking just, it's talking about the person, uh, the other person that you're in a relationship with as well as that, as yourself. Whoever you were when you were in, you know, when you started with this relationship, you didn't just commit to the other person. You committed to who you were in that moment as well. And now this changing of that. Now there's a lot of changing of those behaviors because you're not, because this person's feeling left out in the cold. Feel like they're always doing stuff. Feel like they're not getting the support that they need. They're not really feeling that you know, you know, that, um, 
They they have enough of something. And it's usually because, you know, they know what they want already. They keep going after it and getting it instead of allowing this, allowing it to just come to them, just to be in the higher vibration, just to be happy with where they are, allow things to come into their lives. They're always going after fighting for it, and therefore they're always going to feel like they don't have something. Or they feel like they're not getting the support, or nobody cares, or they feel left out in the cold. It's not that it's not necessarily the case. I don't think this is necessarily the case that nobody cares. But I do feel like that at the same time, they're not putting themselves in a situation ready to receive. They're always putting themselves in a situation where they're always struggling, where they're always seeking to get more than what they have because they're coming from a place of what they don't. You know what I'm saying? So. It's understandable where this person is coming from. It's just that they have to shift their, um, their actions now. How they, they, they know the right thing. They have the right thing in place as far as the mental space. However, they're not going about it in the right direction. They're, they're, they're not going about it. They're not listening to their mind. You know, They're not listening to what they know they, they need to do in order to have what they feel they need. Because they already feel like they are in a, you know, they're very supportive of themselves. Now, I know I just talked a whole lot about this person on this side here, because this side is going to get really interesting, right? Now, while this person is kind of like a walk, like I said, a walking contradiction, this person, on the other hand, is very, 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 very similar. Because how they go in about this relationship is they're emotionally drained. They're, you know, they're not satisfied with situations. They're not satisfied with where they are. There's always something that looks better, you know, elsewhere. Uh, they just like, or you know, or the top of the list, they just are not happy with where they are. They're not quite, they're not satisfied with the options that are presented to them, but they don't know what they want to go in until, you know, to, you know, make something happen. You know what I'm saying? Like, this person knows what they don't want, but they're on their way to finding out what they do. So, they know what they don't want. They're emotionally drained from the relationship. I think this relationship isn't that a strain on them. I don't think the other person's a strain. It's just that they're going about a you know a direction that's not authentic to who they are. Well, they haven't been able to communicate what they needed because they never really paid attention to that. They've been always looking at, okay, is this any of these cups any anything close to maybe what I may desire? Is there? I feel like this is more about their personal lives and affecting the relationship in a sense. Not because the other person is the problem, but because that they still don't know what they want in their own, you know, in their own personal happiness space. Because how they're showing, because what they're showing here is the Knight of Cups. They look like they're focused. They're going towards something. They look like they're very focused on the cup, but there's very temporary s solutions. I see the Knight of Cups very similar to the Devil, not in the sense of like there's addictions, there's obsession or anything like that, but more of like. These are temporary solutions that give set temporary results. You get what I'm saying? Because the Knight of Cups is very focused on what he wants, but the Knight is, a, is like I said, it's a teenager. It's immature energy. Not saying this person is immature, just to be clear again. It's not about immaturity from the person. It's just that this person is going after what they want in the moment, satisfying it, and going after something else. So that's why the Knight of Cups can be seen as a player, not really serious, you know, you know, hard to believe, you know, too good to be true sort of energy. Mainly because they are always going after what they want, which changes like water, right? Which like changes like a chameleon when it's uh, next to a different background and is trying to hide from its predators. It's very similar to that. Now, I want to be clear, that doesn't mean this person is sneaky, underhanded, or doing something inappropriate. This person is just trying to figure out what they want. And and how they're going about doing it is by going after every little thing that they do desire in the moment. But that doesn't really resolve, you know, to the solutions that they do need, which is a more, you know, maybe, I don't know if they need it, but I think what they're trying to go after is a little bit more of a, a bigger goal. You know, they want to find a, a, a bigger res resolution, but how they keep going about it, just the same as this person here, right? They're going about it in a way that doesn't really allow the development of finding what they truly want uh, to happen because they're always doing something. <laughs> they're always going after the small stuff, the little, in, you know, the moment to moment pleasures that they, you know, that they can have in a second that truly don't lead anywhere. 
right? Like the same with this person here that needs to just kind of allow things to come to them. They need to surrender their energy and allow things to come to them. This person needs to be, you know, to kind of, you know, sit back and look at what they want. Take a closer look at how, what they want. And a lot of the times, the reason why this person, well, not a lot of times, but the reason why this person has all these cards coming up, right, is because of the Five of Cups. Excuse me. The reason why they have all this coming up here, the re you know, the ex explanation that is given to us in regards to why this person is going after small, intimate, you know, stuff or small, quick fixes instead of looking for an overall solution. I think they're still trying to look. I think they're still looking and studying their heart, which does, you know, knights. They're not necessarily students. But considering that they, these people, you know, the, both parties are trying to understand how they feel and how to, how how things work and how to get on, you know, in the right balance and the right flow. The main reason is because I feel like this person has also been feeling like they've been gypped out of relationships, or gypped out of you know situations in relationships. So they're always constantly looking at what they want in the moment, what they want right now, versus what they want in the long haul. Because it's not going to really, because this situation, this solution is not necessarily going to help them find what they truly want in a relationship. They're always going to go for the small stuff like, what do I need? What do I want to feel at this moment? Okay, cool. No, they have to look at what they want overall instead of what they're feeling at this moment that they want to go after. Um, and because I feel like the, if they don't get what they want, then they kind of feel like they're not being considered and they have to constantly consider themselves. They have to look out for their own behinds, you know, things like that. Or they don't feel like they're, you know, the other people will recognize that they have needs as well so they can put their needs first. All right. I think they've been, this person's been in a very selfish relationship prior to this one where somebody has been, you know, demanding of them. They may not have gotten what they wanted or needed or felt like they needed in a relationship. So this is them compensating for that relationship. This is, again, why I was talking about the Six of Swords being the moving on card. Because I think there's some things that both parties are having to l really learn how to move on from or, like, grow from. Because this situation with the Five of Swords individual, it's like this person's making sure that they have their interests and stuff covered before anybody else's and make sure that they get what they want in the moment and usually this, like I said the with before but five of swords is usually petty arguments so this person may forget where the main focus is because they're trying to win the mini battles with the knight of cups right they're trying to get the solution to resolve the the, the result of some sort of dopamine release right they're trying to get some sort of feeling of, ah, okay, this, I got some sort of satisfaction here. A small bit of satisfaction that will never really cure the hunger because they're trying to make sure that they're considered always because they're not feeling like they're considered now, right? And at the same time, this doesn't necessarily mean that the other person doesn't consider them. Just like how this person, you know, may feel like they're left in the cold and nobody cares, doesn't mean that that's the case. I do feel like this person more so than anything just need, it feels like they have to kind of you know they have to get something they have to feel a victory in some way and at any cost and that may end up you know putting them in a situation where they may have made a mistake or they may have felt like you know or they may or, or, or well, it made them feel like you know the relationship that they're in has you know has put them on a path that makes them feel like they can't get to where they want to be so they're achieving smaller victories. That's just, that may resonate for very few of you guys. But I feel like with this Eight of Cups person here, like, the Five of Swords, like, they just want some sort of victory because they're not feeling like they have what they want now. Not the saying that this relationship does not make them happy, but they're not getting something from this relationship that they don't know that they, that they need yet because they're focusing on what makes them feel good in the moment and trying to make sure that they at least feel some sort of satisfaction instead of looking at the overall, what do you want? What do you want to feel? How do you want to go about it? Right? And I think they know that they have to look into it. This is why they're separate, right? This is separation now. They're not. You guys may not be together. You guys may be together, but you guys are really distant. And it's because this person's having to look really deep within themselves. They know they have to do that instead of constantly looking for, you know, like I said, microtransactions to get, you know, before they get the big purchase. It's like, I don't know if y'all play video games or not, but it's like kind of buying DLC before you buy the main game. This is what this person's doing. They're buying DLC. They're buying little stuff on the side that's add-ons to the game before finding the game that they want. You know what I mean? And it's like, okay, you're gearing yourself up for all this, but where are you going? 
You know, they're focused on what their heart wants in the moment versus what the Queen of Cups is doing, right? She knows what she wants, but she's ready to go after it. She's ready to go after it, but they're not, but they, this is not something that this person can do any extra. They have to receive it. They have to let this be, you know? Interesting read. Interesting. Let's go ahead and see what your romance, excuse me, not your romance, angels, but your surrender, power of surrender current says for this reading. Oh my gosh. All right. So surrender to silence in quiet meditation or contemplation let go and enter the stillness within silence and healing can replenish you yes yeah, see what i'm saying that's what I'm, both parties are getting both very similar messages and you guys got another message actually in here so but really quickly before i read that one that's literally what everybody has to do stop doing stuff stop going after small shit because it's not going to get you to where you you know feel the most satisfied you're always going to feel like you're trying your heart out and no one else is putting in the work you're always going to feel like you're always going to compensate for everybody else not being able to help you get to what you want so you always got to make sure you get your stuff in first everybody's going to feel like they always got to cover their own ass but that's only because you're constantly a lot you know you know constantly doing things in place of allowing what you need to come in for yourself so that way there can be progress sometimes that just means you just don't do shit you know that means hey right now i know what i want i know i, I know maybe i want somebody to be more affectionate to me maybe i'm tired of kind of chasing the person that i'm with maybe i'm tired of 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 constantly bringing up conversation for this person i'm allow space and time for this person to come to me you can't constantly go to this person and be upset that they don't come to you because you don't allow that space. Same with this person here. You can't expect things to be resolved from microtransactions that make you feel good in the moment and make you feel good for five minutes because they're not really truly going anywhere. You know? This person, you know, you have to be able, this person here has to be able to take the time to figure out what they truly want, what they absolutely want because it's good to know that you don't, but until you know what you do, you're always going to go after the small stuff that really doesn't ulti ultimately don't really make you feel fulfilled at the end of the day. It just feels good in that one second. Then after it's done, you're like, okay, what's next? You know what I mean? So it's a hard one. I'm not going to sit here and tell y'all that it's easy, but it's definitely possible. And in order for things to change, which it looks like you guys are trying to really, and I think y'all already know that, that it's got to be stillness and <laughs> silence. But let's see what the romance angel says here. Ah, oh, the idea to fix someone. Surrender. The surrender, the idea to fix someone. Okay. It's time for a, rela for a relationship to shift. It doesn't work to try to fix someone. Each person must be accountable for his or her own healing. That may have to do with both parties as well, right? Some of you guys may be supportive and loving, and you guys may feel like you're not getting the support that you need, so you always do it to show the person what you need, show the person what you're, you know, whatever, right? Same with this individual. They're not satisfied, so the, all the small stuff that they're doing, the mo you know, things that are in the moment, there may be demonstrations that show what the other person needs or ways of kind of, helping the other person to realize what you what you desire in the relationship but the thing is is that i feel like the, this is where justice comes in for the individual for each individual person not necessarily that there is a need of course there's a need for a kumbaya in the relationship but i feel like with surrender the idea that, um that you could fix someone really means that hey you have to make yourself happy before you, you know, before anybody can make you happy. Because if you're not happy, how if you don't know what's going to make you happy and haven't been going for it, how can anybody else know what the hell to do? You know what I mean? So it's one of those situations that's coming up right now where it's like, okay, well, I can't really do anything further with this relationship. I can't be happy in this relationship. I can't get what I want in this relationship because I kind of don't know it or I haven't been read allowing myself to receive it or I haven't been going after it you know either or right it's all those things but for case in this case it looks like it's more of like because I don't know it and because I don't allow some people to give that to me 
And as well, you know, if you have problems with receiving, it's going to be a little bit of a struggle for some of y'all because you guys have to learn to receive things too, right? You can't just always give them to people stuff, always providing, uh, uh, you know, uh, you know, an arm and a shoulder to cry on and, and to give support. You have to allow other people to give that support. And you can't do that if you're always giving someone else support and denying other people. You know what I mean? So it's like it's this is deep reading, man. It's hard. It's not. It's not nothing to play with. But there is definitely possibility. There's definitely potential in all of you guys to be able to do this. It may just take a little more time. But remember too, if there is distance, if there is separation, separation card does not mean that this is a permanent distance this is a temporary distance this is a temporary separation time that's important for you both that honestly heals you in your own way okay because this is literally what you know surrender the idea to fix someone really this is about allowing the time and space to heal yourself and to get what you want out of yourself out of the universe without any sort of and you know other person into you know intervening in it it's purely you so I'd say, you know, take this time opportunity not to see this as I miss my, you know, not to say or to constantly think about them or obsess about them or the other person, but think about what you need, think about what you want, and really kind of figure out ways to be able to, you know, whatever you guys resonate with it, to, you know, overcome a lot of the struggles that you may be having right now, okay? Because every time that we have a, sep a separation or have something that's,